Hey little artist, Birdie here, and I am doing a quick tutorial on your second project in your little joy box. This is the large canvas, and it has the image engraved or scored into it with the laser. This one says, looking sharp, which cactuses have sharp prickly, so this is perfect. He's got these cute glasses on, so we're going to get started painting. The first thing that I'm going to do is decide what color I want my uh, cactus. I'm going to use my medium round brush for this because there's a little bit of detail on the cactus and so using this will give me control while I'm painting around those elements. I'm going to paint my cactus this lighter green or lime green and I'm going to just come in and work my way around the sunglass part here. There's a lot of cute sayings in regards to cactus. This looking sharp is perfect for this little guy. When I was younger, I had my own little cactus plant in my room to grow. And cactuses are a fairly easy plant to grow. They don't require a lot of fussing. They actually don't like water all that much. They like to be super dry. So it was a nice and easy plant to take care of. And they're very fun and interesting to look at. Okay, we've got the bottom painted. Now I'm gonna paint the top. Now remember that the um, image, your cactus, is scored into the canvas panel. So we can go through and just paint right over some of these marks and we'll still be able to see them after the fact and come in on top of our light gray grain and painted a different color. For instance, the pricklies and things like that, we can definitely um, see those after and paint those white to whatever color we want. Okay, so I'm gonna grab some of this darker green and the cactus in this uh, on your panel here has these little stripes. And so I'm just gonna add some dark green on top of my light for those stripes. There's all sorts of different size cactus and shapes. Some are just round like this with stripes and some have arms like the wooden door hanger. It's kind of fun. There we go. All right, so I'm gonna wash my brush and paint the pot. And in this case, I'm gonna paint the pot uh, pink. So I'm gonna paint the entire thing pink. Remember, as you're painting your canvas and your art projects, paint them how you want. You do not have to copy me. It's okay if you want to copy and use my ideas. That is totally okay. And it's also okay to use the colors you want to use. There's no right or wrong. Whatever you feel like. Sometimes it's hard to think what colors we should use. And it's nice to just be able to follow somebody else's examples. And then sometimes we have some pretty strong ideas on what we want to paint our things. And that is when you want to 
use your ideas for those items. No right or wrong. Okay, I'm gonna dip my brush in white so I have white and pink on my brush now. And I'm gonna add some lines around the edge just to give it some highlights and dimension. Add a fun little touch there. I like to blend colors together as I'm painting to add some highlights and shadows once in a while. Okay. All right. So I'm gonna paint this looking box up here pink. And I'm gonna paint the entire thing pink and then I'm gonna come over the top with black and fill in the looking letters. Remember, this is just the base coat. We'll be able to see those letters after the fact and fill in the word with another color. This just makes it a little easier to paint. So we're not having to spend a bunch of time trying to paint around all of those letters in the word. Go. I'm going to go back and grab a little bit of white and just add some white streaks around the edge of my sign here. Kind of gives it the look of a frame. And then I'm going to wash my brush. Okay, I'm going to paint the sharp word. So we've got the word sharp, it's running this way. So if you turn your canvas, there's S-H-A-R-P in cursive, and it's got this border around the word. So I'm gonna paint my border the light green. And again, I'm gonna go and just paint the entire border and words just like I did with the pink sign. And then we'll come in and add color on top of the letters. For this larger area, you could have used your bigger brush, or maybe you already are.
Sometimes I forget to switch brushes. And a bigger brush, remember, helps cover a large area faster because you're able to paint more at a time with each brush stroke. Okay, I'm just kind of going back and filling in any spots that need a little bit more there. And then I'm going to put a second coat down on my cactus here just to fill it in just a little bit. And if you're putting a second coat and you accidentally cover up your dark green or whatever color it is, that's okay. We can just go back and grab a little bit of that dark green and just fix it real quick. Painting is so forgiving. If you ever make a mistake, you can just let it dry and then come in and put a second coat on it and change the color of it. So if you don't like something or you've accidentally colored in an area you didn't want to, it's easily fixable. Okay, so what I'm gonna do next is I'm gonna create a gray for the inside of his glasses. Actually, I'm gonna paint Yeah, I'm going to do that. So I'm going to grab my pot. I'm going to grab some white and put it in my pot. I just used my brush to grab a couple scoops of it. And then I'm going to grab just the tiniest amount of black and mix that together. And we'll see how that looks. It's a little bit light, so I'm going to grab a little bit more black and darken it up. Black is a really powerful color, and so you always want to start with just a small amount. Okay, I want it to be just a little more dark, so I'm going to grab a little more black. We'll just work our way up to the darkness that we want, and I think that's good right there. Okay, and this is just such a small area, I'm not going to mix too much. Always start with a small amount and then work your way up as you need it. If you're painting a large area, you want to make sure to have enough mixed for that. So you might want to have a couple more scoops in your pot. But I knew I was only going to paint just these two small sunglass pieces. And so I knew a small amount of paint would work. Okay, next we're gonna paint the outside of the glasses. I'm gonna come in with black for that. And I got a little bit of black on my uh, canvas there. I got kind of crazy when I was pulling my brush out of my black. So I'm just going to grab a baby wipe and dab that off. Sometimes a baby wipe can be helpful when you're painting. Or a wet rag is helpful. And I was able to just kind of scratch or rub that black away. We just want to make sure we take our time and go slow.
so cute. He's turning out to be so cute. I'm then going to paint the mouth with black as well at this time. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to flip my canvas around so that I can paint the words in my sign at the top. And I'm going to switch brushes to my liner brush. If you wanted to use a marker at this point and color in your, um, see if I have my marker here. I don't have my marker, but if you had a marker or a coloring pencil that you wanted to use instead of painting, you definitely can incorporate whatever art supplies that you already have. And if you're painting these little letters, just go slow and take your time. Remember to use a super light pressure, just barely touch the surface with your paintbrush so you get a nice thin line. Okay, we've got that filled in. So now I'm going to flip it back around and see how it looks. Sometimes it's easier to rotate your art so that you can um, paint in an area that's a little more comfortable and you're not reaching across wet paint. Okay, I'm going to grab this black and add some lines to my pot. And then all we have left is the sharp. And I'm going to paint that um, yellow. So I'm going to turn my canvas so I can get to this area really easily and come in with yellow. And actually, I think I might switch. Um, yellow is kind of hard to see. Okay. 
against the green. So we might switch to a different color. Let's just finish this S and see how it goes. Sometimes you start with a color and then decide, mm, that's not gonna work. Yeah, I'm gonna just do black for the all the letters. I think that's gonna really make them pop so we can really see what our sign is saying. I'm gonna start on the other end while my yellow dries over there. And then by the time I get there, I'll be able to just paint right over that yellow with my black. So remember, if you ever wanna change colors, you wanna let the one color dry really well so that you can paint over it. And that just ensures that you're not going to get a messy blend of colors where you don't want that to happen. Sometimes you want to paint when the color is still wet and sometimes you want to let it dry. Sometimes coloring or filling in the small detail areas can be a little frustrating. But remember just to go slow and take your time. There is no hurry. And the more you paint, the more practice you'll get and the faster you'll be. You'll be able to fill in these small detail areas a lot quicker and it won't be as much of a frustration. So remember to keep practicing, don't give up. Each time you paint, you're gonna get better and better. Okay, that looks great. Looking sharp. Okay, so the last thing that I'm gonna do is paint his little pricklies white. So I wash my brush and now I'm coming in and just adding white on top of all his pricklies. Also going to add a little white to the tops of his glasses and these little dashes on the lenses kind of make it look like it's reflecting some light off of the shine of the glass. So just two little dashes right here on each side. Okay, there we go. There is our large canvas painting. I hope you enjoyed painting. Um, and I, oh, let me just show you. You have, don't forget that you have your easel or paint or stand, excuse me. So it comes like this. You have two pieces. You've got the piece that has a slot on the top and the piece that has the slot on the bottom. What you're gonna do is turn them and slide your two pieces together, kind of wiggle it a little bit, and you've got this stand now, okay? And you set it on the table or wherever you want to display your piece. You've got your little legs right here and you'll be able to just put your piece right in the stand and display your art for the month. So make sure to um, put your art out, be proud of it. It's unique and beautiful. And I hope you enjoyed painting.
Thanks for watching, and we will chat with you in the next video, guys. Bye!